Okay, next up we're going to be using the periodic table to find the full electron configuration of barium. So you can use the Madelung's rule, which is illustrated below here, but it's just to let you know how it works, it just means that if you're filling orbital, you fill it using the arrow. So in this case, we would fill 1s2 first, and then 2s2, and then 2p6, and then 3s2, and then 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, so on and so forth. The great thing is that the periodic table summarizes a lot of properties of the elements, so let's just pull it up. And so if you read the periodic table, you should read this as 1s for this first row, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p. So for example, in the case where you want the electronic configuration of carbon, you just read until you hit the carbon. So it's going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p1, sorry, 2p2, and then that's carbon. And so it gets more complex as you come down here. Um, let me just draw it out. We're going to have a whole B group here. So here, this is going to be 1s, 1s, 2s, 3s, 2p, 3p. I want you to hit the fourth group. Here's where you see something interesting. You're going to have 4s here, and then you drop the number to represent this 3d that you're seeing right after. So 3d, and then back to 4p. And then again, something interesting happens when you hit the um, fifth group. So let's come back here, 5s. We go into 4D, 5P, and then once you hit the 6th group, we hit something called the lanthanides that are responsible for a different um, orbital group called the F group. And so you're going to have um, 5P immediately followed by 4F, and then 5D. And so it's what you see here, where you get into 5F, 5D, sorry. 4F, because you drop the number by 2, 5D, and then back to 6P, and so on and so forth. So, for our question, we would like to find barium, which is right here, thankfully, before we hit the lanthanides and get into the F situation. And so, the And so, let's actually bring it on this side. And so, in the case we'd like to.